Yeah, what is it? Yeah, that's right. A security guard. Tell me what this is all about. You must be asking about our manager. He's waiting for you at the warehouse entrance. He'll show you around. No problem. Just, it's easy to get lost here, so stay close to me, okay? Here's all the electronics. It's not much to go on. The utility rooms are behind me. Oh, I forgot. I have to check something. Wait for me here. Just a minute.
I can't believe they sent us a guy known only for taking care of motel brawls and supermarket robberies. I think we need to show them that we deserve to be taken more seriously. Well then, you're gonna die, as an example. I thought it was over. I, uh, tried to get away, but they got me. That damn security guard grabbed me and brought me here. They took care of the rest. The guy lying there and the boss of the whole party. We were supposed to work off our stay in the States, get help with legalization. A big lie. They lock us up and beat us. Not many get out alive. Fucking psychos taking pictures. It's fun for them. I'm sure he brought me here, so... They've been holding me here for the last hour, waiting for the boss. The guy's supposedly insane. He abuses his victims and records short sessions with them. Usually, people end these sessions in body bags. Then this crazy guy calls up his friends and brags to them about how many of us he took out. I've heard he's worse than these guys here, and he looks inconspicuous. But you know how it is. Appearances can be deceptive. He calls himself a savage as well. The guy must have been in mental health treatment. I heard him get mad when someone made a joke about his vacation in a psychiatric hospital. Touchy subject? Or does he just not like being made fun of? I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. I hope I helped. We're here illegally, so... Most of them have no choice. 
Either they have nowhere to go, or they're afraid for their families. Besides, most don't speak English. Well, at least that's what they claim. No, I can't. I'll leave when it's safe. Watch your back. You've already met one of them. The other isn't so good. He has an office in the main hall, but it's probably closed. The guy comes in from time to time to check on what's going on. Three, actually. Four, if you count the security guard. The two who are always there, and the boss, the guy who oversees it, they're all brothers. Well, except for the security guard. Family business. Be careful. Most of the employees are more afraid of the police than these psychos. Yes? Be careful. Most of the employees are more afraid of the police than these psychos. Police, what's going on? Yes, I'm an employee here. Excuse me, but I don't speak uh, English very well. I can't help you much. Uh, fold packages and uh, see nothing and uh, know nothing. Or get back to work. Anything else?
in the green basket is the key to the archive. You go to the main hall there. Anything else? Or get back to work? Finally! Someone from your end! Hiding? What do you think? So they don't get me like the other guy? I know what they're doing here. I've seen it. I'm not leaving here until you lock them all up. Sick ride. The warehouse manager is fucked. Him and his whole family. The boss controls everything, but the whole family knows about it. Even his dumb son. You heard right. The fucker once brought his son to work. He showed him his playroom. What the fuck is in his head? His wife. But it doesn't bother her. Because he lets her spend money on the house and do whatever she wants. She likes it. And his brother... Another degenerate. He beat his girlfriend regularly, and when she threw him out, boss took him in. Yeah, yeah. This has got to stop. Once and for all. In the corner of the main hall, you'll find this little cubicle. That's where he usually hangs around. The security guard. I'm sure he has it. Yes, there should be an open door upstairs. Take the stairs to the left and you're in the hall.
No hablo inglés, lo siento. No hablo inglés, lo siento. Yes. I don't understand. Me? You believe some Mexican? Because what? Because he said so? No, I'm not going to jail for this. I wasn't part of it. Okay, I knew what these cycles were capable of, but... the red one in the corner of the main hall. I bet it's locked. But... All right, here you go. I'm glad you came. Get him out of here. We'll take care of him ourselves. No problem, sir. You guys are lucky. Over there, it's the boss! Watch out!
Someone who will finally get rid of you. Ugh. You had to weasel your way in here, huh? Okay, listen. He's my brother, okay? He's responsible for this shit. We screwed up by letting you hang around the premises for so long. We should have gotten rid of you right away. You don't stand a chance. This business is his whole life, and he's not gonna give it up that easily. He's up to his neck in it. He won't leave, even if it's not worth it. I've tried to talk him down myself, convince him to quit this stupid business, but it didn't work. This is my brother. I told you before, I just couldn't do that to him. He has helped me many times. Recently, he took me in when a chick knocked me out of the house. He is my brother, and that's it. End of discussion. Someone who will finally get rid of you. Ugh. You have- Okay, listen. We screwed up by letting you hang around the premises for so long. You- I've tried to talk- This is my- He has helped- He is my brother. No estoy hablando con la policía. Get him out of here. We'll take care of him ourselves. No problem, sir. What are you sniffing around for, cop? <laughs> Come on, tell me what you heard from them.
Not strong enough. And why do you get yourself into this? The girl pissed him off, that's all. Anyway, he's the one left homeless, not her. What do you want? Am I supposed to believe you're gonna let them go? They don't give medals for that, so I have to reward myself. You think I can't handle it? Besides, I'm not going anywhere. You know, every cop, even you, and a thug like me have the same thing in their heads. We're probably more alike than you think. I can't believe a Mexican with a smashed-in skull doesn't turn you on at all. Are you jealous? She has to live with me, so at least she gets something out of it. How do you know they're vacant buildings? Maybe I run a homeless shelter in them. Or a cemetery for nosy cops. By karma, you mean cellmates. You think I'm scared of that? But okay, I'll give you one thing. Money doesn't interest me. I guess it interests you, so... Can we make a deal? It had to end this way sooner or later. I'm sick of all this talk. I give up. My lawyer's number is 555. Fuck you.
for the news.